Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we will see how to use date filter in Salesforce reports. Basically why we need to use filter in Salesforce report. So when we create a report, sometimes we don't want unnecessary data. Using the filter feature, we can remove unnecessary data and display reports that we want. Then what is date filter in Salesforce report? The date filter in Salesforce report only supports the custom and standard date fields. Using the date filter, we can create a more structured and understandable reports. It helps us to analyze and visualize the data. Then what is the relative date filter? The relative date filter is a feature which let you filter on a date fields using easy to understand using easy to understand and human speech inspired syntax. Let's understand relative date filter using a scenario where you want to show only those opportunity records having close date in 2024. Now our normal approach will be here you can see close date greater than 1st Jan 2023. This looks like very tricky. So the relative date filter use human speech inspired syntax. That means here you can see using a relative date filter close date equals this year. This syntax is looks very easy and easy to understand. Now using this scenario we will create a report on the opportunity object to display the records having close date in 2024. This is my home page. Now we have to create a report on opportunity object. For that navigate to the report by clicking on app launcher then search for a reports click on reports now you can see recent reports you can edit these reports or create a new report i am creating new report here you can see new report button click on it now you can select an object by searching in a search object type or you can simply click on a opportunity object from recently used reports type i am clicking on it and then click on a start report here you can see only few record is displayed this is because of default filter. To remove the default filter, click on the filters. And then here you can see close date, click on a close date. And then in a range option, click on a click on a drop down list and select all time and then click on apply. Now here you can see all opportunities is displayed. You can remove the unnecessary column by clicking on a drop down arrow and then click on a remove column or also click on outline and then here you can see the columns you can also remove the column by clicking on a cross button i am removing the unnecessary columns now you can see i have removed the unnecessary columns now as per our scenario we have to display only those records whose close date in 2024 before applying a filter you can see the close date columns as having various close dates 2021, 2023, 2022. Now we want to display only 2024. For that, click on a filter option. Then click on add filter. Now here we need to add column. For that, search for a close date. Here you can see close date. Click on it. And then now here you can see we have a use relative date option. Click on it. Here is a description. Enter a relative date like yesterday, last week or a next 30 days. You can google to see the other references which we can use in a relative date. Relative date in Salesforce and then click on a filter reference. Here you can see relative date values which we can use in a filter option. I am going to use this year option. For that copy this value and then paste the value in a relative date and then click on a apply button. Now you can see in a close date column only those record is displayed which having the close date 2024. This is how you can use relative date filter in Salesforce. Now we will see second scenario. You need to display only those leads records that are created on a 15th of July 2022 or 16th of April 2024. To display the records which are created on 15th of July, we need to apply hard code date. This scenario we will implement on a Salesforce Classic. To switch to the Salesforce Classic, click on a view profile. Then click on a switch to Salesforce Classic. Here I am not going to save this report. That's why I am clicking on a leave button. We have switched to the Salesforce Classic. Now go to the reports tab. 
click on a new report then here you can see leads object click on it scroll down and then click on a create button here also we need to remove the default filter for that here you can see show click on a drop down arrow and here you can see all leads click on it and then in a range field click on drop down and then select all time now you can see the all records has displayed here also i am removing the unnecessary columns here we are going to filter records by the created date for that we need to add created date field in the reports column to add the created date you can search here create date and then drag and drop this field in the report here you can see we have a different different created date then as per our scenario we need to display only those record which created on 15th of july 2022 to apply the filter click on add filter then here we need to add create date column then in operator equals and here i am going to add a date 15th of july 2022 here you can see july is the 7th july is the 7th month then click on okay button here we can see the created date of 15th of july 2022 only those record is displayed this is how we can use date filter in salesforce reports if you like the video then hit the like button subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to get regular updates thank you